everybody, it's Lisa from TwoCreatorWebsite.com. This video is for the new and struggling bloggers out there. I'm going to talk about the, one of the biggest mistakes I think new bloggers make. The great thing about blogging is that it's easy, it's accessible, it's inexpensive. Unlike building a static website, you know, when I started, you don't need any software, you don't have to learn any HTML or CSS if you don't want to. But the downside to that upside is everybody has a blog these days. Everybody has a website. And if they don't have a website, they're getting ready to start one. And today, most people choose blogs because they're easy and they're dynamic. So you've got all these people out here who are trying to be experts on, you know, whatever topic. The biggest mistake I think new bloggers make is that they start off as a reporter rather than a trendsetter. A reporter is someone who just takes general information on the web and put it into their own words. So how many search engine optimization blogs do we have out there? How many blogs do we have out here on AdSense? How to get started with AdSense? And the majority of the time people choose these topics because they can't really think of anything that they're passionate about and they see so many other people with blogs on these topics so they feel, oh since I'm trying to make money I'm going to build a blog on making money with AdSense. And the problem with that is when you aren't succeeding with AdSense, when you don't really have a lot of search engine traffic, when you write about SEO, search engine optimization, when you write about AdSense and you don't have the success, you're not able to offer anything unique. So your blog becomes drab and boring. There's nothing that will make your blog stand out because you're just paraphrasing and reporting what other successful people have already written about. So I challenge all of the new bloggers, the struggling bloggers out there um, to maybe rethink your topic. Think about why you chose your topic. Did you choose it because you just really couldn't think of anything else and you knew that there were so many other successful blogs on this topic, you felt, oh, I might as well do this. Or did you do it because you thought there was more money in this particular topic than another. Let me tell you, I would much rather see somebody do a blog on sea monkeys, raising sea monkeys. <laughs> if you are truly passionate about sea monkeys and you have a ton of information to share, if you have fresh, unique advice that is not already out here, I would much rather see you do a blog on that than search engine optimization when you don't have any traffic. What are you gonna tell me about search engine optimization if you don't have any search engine traffic. So right away you have no credibility. But sea monkeys you, you know about. You have experience raising sea monkeys. There are other people out there that also have that hobby that would love to connect with you and your unique tips. Plus you'll have so much more fun because this is a topic you're truly engaged in. And I really think today that's where so many bloggers, not just bloggers, but you know, static website owners as well, I think that's a big mistake that, that you guys often make. So I challenge you to rethink your topic if you're struggling. Think about why you really chose it. If you are really passionate about something like sea monkeys or something that's not related to making money, you can still make a lot of money because you're going to be more creative, you're going to be more energized, and you're going to have a lot to write about. So just remember that. So that's my quick tip. Hope that puts something on some of your minds. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.